Hey guys, right here, welcome to my channel. I like to explore power options when the power goes out. Today, I'm going to be ripping out the old deep cycle batteries from my RV, and I'm gonna be using this as my primary battery for my RV. So I have a 12 volt, 30 amp RV plug on this specific power station, which I love. Should be able to run my microwave, my air conditioner, my electric hot water heater, all my jacks, my slide outs. It's just gonna be a quick video, so come along, I'll show you how I'm gonna hook it up. The first step is to remove those old 12 volt batteries and all the junk that goes with it. Feel free to celebrate because you're probably never gonna have to buy RV batteries ever again. Uh, yes. For my DC power to my RV, I just rigged up this XT60 connector. This is 10 gauge wire, perfect for 30 amps. So I have this wired right over to where my positive battery terminal is right here. And then the negative just goes right to the ground of my RV. And I just hook this aviation plug, you have to buy this separately. And then it has this XD60 connector. You plug it on here. I turn my DC on, my DC power on. Now I should have power to my jacks. About 300 watts to go up. So now I've got all 12 volt power. So here is my uh, 120 volt AC. I've got this 30 amp RV plug. Okay, my microwave is now on. But before I use any of my uh, AC power, I'm gonna disconnect my converter box. Now my shore power plug comes in here and provides power to all of these 120 volt outlets. And here's the converter box. This, this converter box sends power to this device down here that will charge my 12 volt battery. So it, it converts it converts 120 volts coming into this box to 12 volts to charge my battery. Now I've got everything running off that same battery so I don't want the battery to try and charge itself. So I'm just gonna flip that off to make sure there's no connection there. So let's hook up the solar. It, it's a super dark day today. It's been raining. It's like... This is a 200 watt solar panel. Pretty nice, actually. Pretty easy to carry around. It has these MC4 connectors. You can hook these straight to the solar panels or plug it in there. Kind of nice because it has all these different types of adapters. If you need something different than these connectors. For solar, I just hook it right up here. And then I can plug these in. Okay, had to get a little better angle. It's super dark out here, it's like four o'clock now, so I'm not getting too much solar power. So you can also charge this from your engine battery. So I'm gonna pull my truck over here. Now usually when I have a deep cycle lead acid battery, you don't want to connect it straight to lithium unless you do a bunch of extra stuff. But um, this battery power station already has all that stuff built in, so it can be charged from a lead acid battery or from like the alternator. So I just remembered I disconnected the 12 volt auxiliary power from this plug because I did have a lithium battery running my RV and I didn't want to have to install a DC to DC converter in order to get that to work. So for this test, I'm just gonna pull my truck around and hook the charging terminals up to my car battery. So typically if you wanna charge from a deep cycle lead acid battery, you use this port, but this is hooked up to my solar panels. So there's actually something you could buy. It's called a DC charging enhancer. And it lets you hook up to the regular AC charging port with this guy. And this lets you hook some additional solar panels onto the power station. Or it lets you connect to a battery. Okay, that's coming from the car battery right there. And this is coming from the solar. So just disconnected this. Yeah, yeah usually I never charge from a lead acid battery but it is an option if you need to. On this cloudy day, I'm still getting 18 watts, 
So that's enough to even run all my LED lights in my trailer. So even right now, I'm still getting a charge. Now, if you've got a motorhome similar to my cousin's, you will have a battery isolator probably near your engine battery right there. Here's a little diagram that explains what that does. Here's your starting battery. Here's your alternator. Here's the battery isolator right here. Now this will sense when the engine is on and the alternator is on to like 14 volts or whatever it's charging at. Once it's, the engine's running, this will open up and it'll make a connection into this battery that you use for our, your RV. And you could just get rid of this battery, put the Blue Eddy in there, the power station, and then connect these wires to the battery charging cables. Okay guys, so I think this is my new favorite all around power system for an RV. Super simple, just put it in. If I need to go on another road trip, I can just unplug, I can just unplug the shore power, unplug the 12 volt power. And if you have solar panels, you can just unplug the solar panels, take it on a road trip, take it up the canyon to griddle food. I did another video last week where I have a full review of this and I'll put a link on the top of this channel and I'll put a link at the end of this video. Yeah, this thing is amazing. So the Victron MultiPlus 3000 has 2,400 working watts and this one has 2,200 working watts. So each of those support one large appliance in your RV and then you got like 700 watts to like support your TV, your laptop. You may need someone to install the Victron system depending on how comfortable you are. That could cost you like maybe over $10,000. This thing, it's $1,600 and you can take it out and move it to your next RV if you want. The GrowWatt power system I had in this RV, that was about $2,300, $2,400 without the solar panels on top. But I had to wire the battery together with the power system and I had to install a battery monitor. This thing has the uh, battery monitor on your phone and you don't have to buy this huge complex system. The Victron system only sports one large appliance. This thing sports one large appliance. You can add expansion, two expansion batteries to this to the power equivalent of 16 lead acid batteries. With the discount code I have for you guys, you'll get another $50 off. So thanks a lot. Talk to you guys later.